I'm going to go over 16 late bloomers that really define their careers later on in life. So these 16 late bloomers really made an impact on the world later on in their careers at the age of like 40, 50, 60, and even beyond. And I thought this might be encouraging for anyone who is maybe thinking about changing careers uh, either later on in life or maybe they're just starting out in college or in their first career and they really don't know what they wanna do and they're afraid that they're losing time and really unsure about the career and the impact that they wanna make in the future. And trust me, I know it can be a struggle coming from somebody who is sort of a late bloomer myself and also definitely a career changer. Uh, I went from the military to working on Goldman Sachs at around the age of 30 and now I'm going to medical school to become a physician, which is my dream career uh, at the age of 33. So I know there can be a lot of pressure on figuring out what you wanna do with the rest of your life. So let's look at these 16 late bloomers as inspiration of people who didn't really make their impact or their mark on the world until later on in life. Now this first one on the list, I know that uh, my wife in particular has definitely uh, increased their profit margins and made their stock go through the roof probably, but this is Lululemon, started by Chip Wilson at the age of 42. And I don't even wanna know how much money we've spent on Lulu. The next one on the list is Vera Wang, the fashion designer who didn't even start her fashion line until the age of 40 after being a uh, journalist and figure skater in her previous careers. Betty White had her breakthrough role in the Mary Tyler Moore Show at the age of 51 in 1973. Laura Ingalls Wilder published her Little House books at the age of 65 in 1932 which then went on to become a literary success and also the basis for the show Little House on the Prairie. In 1962, Sam Walton started Walmart at the age of 44. This next one on the list, I know a lot of people are huge fans. J.R.R. Tolkien published The Hobbit at the age of 45 and then later on went on to finish The Lord of the Rings at the age of 56. Harlan Colonel Sanders published KFC when he was 62 years old. Bob Ross started his hit TV show The Joy of Painting when he was 41 years old. Now this next one, does anybody know who John Pemberton is? He was a pharmacist until the age of 55 when he created the formula for Coca-Cola in 1886. Bernie Marcus got let go from his job in home improvement at the age of 49 and then went on to start the Home Depot. Samuel Jackson got his breakthrough role in Jungle Fever at the age of 43 and then Pulp Fiction after that and then a ton of other movies that were blockbusters that we all know and love today. Leo Goodwin started Geico Insurance at the age of 50. Ian Fleming worked in Britain's military and wrote the first James Bond novel at the age of 44. Christian Dior started his fashion line at the age of 41 after serving in the army. Jack Cover invented the taser gun in 1970 at the age of 50 years old. And last but not least, Giorgio Armani started his fashion line at the age of 41 after previously serving in the army and studying medicine. So there you go. It's never too late to pursue your dream it's never too late to make your impact on the world so don't worry if you are struggling figuring out what you want to do with the rest of your life uh, you're in good company with these other late bloomers so keep up the good work and never be afraid to pursue your dreams